Well, I think the biggest aha moment I had today was that in terms of using indicators like amenable mortality, the problem is that we, uh, we, in this country, we're reluctant to set goals and targets. So as a result, it's, you know, it's just, the indicators don't tend to be in, in our consciousness. If we, if we had targets, it would be, we'd pay a lot more attention to them. Well, I think uh, the overriding thing for me is that we need to put more emphasis on outcomes in our system. We still are fairly, uh, you know, preoccupied with process measures, things like readmission rates, uh, and I th so I think we need to think more about outcomes in that context. I think we, we and we need to think actually like of a suite of outcome indicators uh, so that amenable mortality, whether it's life expectancy, I think you need patient reported outcome measures. You need several, m maybe even put together as a dashboard or something so that people uh, can readily get a picture. And I think an another point too is I think then you have to orient incentives in the system towards outcomes. I think that's critical and I think from the point of view of our organization, we need really to promote uh, sort of a, an awareness of, because some of these indicators are fairly technical in terms of, you know, what they mean and, and just how they're calculated, and that's, that's where I'd start anyway.